the presidential altercade. He was greeted by the governor and the mayor of Milwaukee on the tarmac and then headed to Master Lock right now. And we have live team coverage of the president's visit with our Tom Murray and our Nick Montes, who've been on assignment since early this morning. Nick is live at General Mitchell, and Tom Murray is at Master Lock awaiting the president's arrival. But let's head to Master Lock headquarters where we find our Tom Murray. Now, Tom, do we know is the president still on schedule at this point? We do know he's on his way there right now. Yes, we uh, are waiting his arrival here at Master Lock at 32nd and Center in Milwaukee's north side. Uh, there are 500 some Master Lock employees who are gathered here on the manufacturing floor. This is the floor that on a daily basis is used to make padlock and other Master Lock security equipment. We're told when the president arrives here that he will take a short tour, get a chance to speak with some of the employees. Master Lock, a company that brought uh, work that had been done in China by third party contractors back to Milwaukee, hiring back about 150, 150 employees here in the Milwaukee area with plans to add dozens more over the next couple of years. Master Lock climbed high on the president's radar screen very quickly. The CEO participated in the president's insourcing forum about a month ago. The president so intrigued, Master Lock got a heads up that the president wanted to mention the company in the State of the Union address. The CEO says that the visit here to Milwaukee was planned after the State of the Union. And uh, keep in mind that Wisconsin is a true battleground state in November's election. Republicans are charging that this visit to Milwaukee is a campaign rally disguised as a presidential visit. Uh, now, we did speak to the CEO here. He was saying that hosting the president is not an endorsement of policy or initiatives or politics. Take a listen first to Republican National Committee Chair Reince Priebus, then uh, Master Lock CEO John Hefner. No, he's coming as the president of the United States so that the taxpayers have to pay for the trip, but he's using the taxpayers' money to campaign so they can get reelected to put us further into debt and drive our economy further in the ditch. To the extent that we can bring more jobs back to America, I don't know how anyone would label that partisan. I look at it as that's good for all of us to have those jobs back. So no, I don't look at it as a partisan event at all. So in other words, you'd be just as willing to host a Republican president? Clearly. And if they could help us and we could help them, I would clearly do that. Absolutely. And back out here live at Master Lock, a Master Lock employee is just taking the podium. Uh, he will lead the uh, crowd here in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So this really just the beginning of the festivities of the events here. Uh, we do expect to hear from CEO John Hefner on stage. He tells me that he will speak. Now the president will also mention two other Wisconsin companies as part of his remarks today. One is Collaborative Consulting, which actually has its headquarters in Boston, but recently opened a job center in Wausau. These are jobs that had previously been o done overseas, and the reason uh, that they opened in Wausau is because there is a, uh, the, the cost of living is low enough there that the wages are competitive enough that it made sense to bring some IT jobs to Wausau. The second company is Diamond Precision Products. They're over in Johnson Creek. They are a machine component manufacturer, and uh, they have uh, instead of using suppliers in China, has started shifting to using local suppliers wherever they can. This is all part of the president's so-called insourcing initiative, bringing jobs that were at one point sent overseas, sent to Mexico, finding ways that it makes sense to bring those jobs back to the country. And keep in mind that the companies that are doing this are not just doing it for the good of the country. It has to make sense to their bottom line. And Master Lock says, in their case, and in the case of these other companies that we mentioned in Wisconsin, they have found ways where it makes financial sense to bring these jobs back to Wisconsin and other parts of the country. All right, Tom Murray live inside Master Lock awaiting President Obama's arrival. Thanks so much, Tom. And we found protesters outside of Master Lock. This is a live picture. You can see several people out there, including several protesters.
the Occupy Milwaukee Facebook page has been calling on people to come out and protest the event. We're looking at some video here. We're not sure exactly who's behind the protest, but there are plenty of protesters outside. We have a reporter on this story and we'll have more information as the day goes on. It's 12.05 and we continue this team coverage of the president's arrival, this time at General Mitchell International. We found out today that Governor Walker decided to pass on an appearance at Master Lock. Our Nick Montez is out at the airport and Nick, uh, he was there, it was the governor and so were some others to greet him as well. Yeah, actually there were. Um, Air Force One right behind me, it's huge as you can see there. It took center stage as it landed at about 11.32. Those dignitaries that were here to greet the president, Mayor Barrett, Governor Scott Walker shook his hand but is uh, not touring Master Log. Now uh, Colonel Mike Mayo, Vice Commander 128th Air Refueling Wing was also here to greet the president and uh, Congresswoman Gwen Moore was also actually on Air Force one and she will be with the president through his trip here in Milwaukee. Again, it landed here at about 11:32. The president uh, took a few minutes to recognize the dignitaries, then walked over to greet family and friends of the staff here at the uh, base, and then uh, quickly got into his car and uh, took off in the presidential motorcade and is headed over to Master Lock as we speak. All right, Nick Montez, live for us at Mitchell International. Nick, thank you.